happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Yeah, that's her again. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame it. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? I have no well, idea. Let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. What's up with this girl? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in You seem quiet sure today. Like just to thinking too much. Before. I just really think everyday heroes is an important I hear that. And I want to represent Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but 
I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. I, am. I see you, Max Caulfield. Uh -oh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Thank you for explaining it to me. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Yeah, just getting you right. Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Yeah, I'm excited because I feel like you have to pass some sort of test because Matt wants everybody to show you how she likes cards. What's the point? You play it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. Going? And girls, it's sad to imagine a world without. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Okay. Girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Rachel Amber's a bitch. How could they say that about our girl? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just That's that guy come to three. That got on it. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my stepass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo! Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! 
I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. Was that Chloe? I held up my hand. And then I was back here. So now her hair is all blue. Pieces of time can frame us I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally... Rewinding time is a lot cooler than those bites I or whatever did. that we did. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm a human, human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Let's take another selfie. Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I, I took like my selfie, Jefferson, to Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <coughs> has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Uh-oh. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Why not? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Thank you very much. The Daguerrean process made <sighs> portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Let's be this everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still... I see you, Max Caulfield. Bro, I gotta go think about somebody. leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand picks by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. Ooh. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. <laughs> All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Goodbye. I hope I have I liked it better to when it was AWSD please, please. to make uh, I decisions. can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit! I can't let this happen. What? what? If I can reverse time again, too long. I can help her. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Granted, I don't go into ladies' rooms. Ever, but I'm pretty sure the fire alarm would not be behind all the stuff. Another shitty day. <laughs> Another shitty day. Why are you in a woman's happen? room? This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that what? excuse. David works there excuse now? Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Goodbye. Hold on, Max. Oh, no. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I'm telling the truth. That guy, like, killed somebody. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. 
so it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No. <laughs> Rachel Amber. Sad. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hate to see it. Yeah, because we technically don't know what happened. Because the only thing that happened in the story was um, you saw her phone ring. She had like seven missed calls or something like that. I better and read Warren's text there was before somebody he blows taking my pictures. phone up. Was it Max? Hello? <laughs> In the lot. What lot? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Is it the same... This way? Excuse me, ladies. That looks way too old to be here. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. No. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> wow, bitch. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Oh, we ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Nice. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? <laughs> oh yes, Victoria. What I'll get bitch. your bony ass out of my way. No. What do we do? Um... Okay. There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look yeah. great. I can't even chill on the steps. Mission accomplished. Mm, maybe hey, not. do you understand maybe English? Not. Get lost. Yeah, paint. Should I rewind that? We go even further. Nice, bro. 
camper. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Okay, let's see if this works. All right, so I do that, and then I hit the hit the vents again. Water. No. And they get sprayed. What they the get hell? Out. Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, and Victoria. Gonna, it's just water. Put yeah. it up there, and it's gonna water spell on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Uh, I'm gonna make fun of her, because she's a bitch. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. <laughs> and no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Ooh, big threat. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, maybe she should be nicer. You know, from what I understand, red rum. <laughs> what I understand, I didn't even know. Courtney. Max is right. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. DVDs. What am I here for? Flash drive. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, borrowed your flash drive. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana. You can't get out now, Dana. So oh, tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> you are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. <gasps> no, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you, you care? Out, why are you afraid. even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh... Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Let's rewind. <laughs> I made a mistake. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. You I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. If you don't Unbelievable. Help, I will would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Victoria's According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room.
The door's open too. Across from Max's. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Blackwell hipster alert. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This is a print email. I'm going. This better convince Juliet that the head is innocent. Victoria now. I do something. Let's, mess Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. <laughs> Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Let's take a photo. Thank you, I can leave now. <clears throat> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are, and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Not even gonna get get it the flash me? drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Are we just giving it to another guy? This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now broke the window. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I'm getting hit by a football? That's like not much of anything. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything uh -oh. here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Uh, hmm. Man, I should have yeah, stepped will, in yeah, to redeem David. That. that asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Uh-oh. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. 
It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero. You're welcome, Kate. Happy to help. Even though I kind of feel bad. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Is that Chloe putting pictures all over the place? Yo, Max, Is that check RV it out. in the school parking lot? Is that Chloe's truck? Where's the blue light I put in? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. So entitled. <laughs> Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Max, get your <laughs> ass over here. Hello. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Damn, no hug. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, 60 Warren. miles. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see your ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The what? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're <laughs> sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive <laughs> ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Uh-oh. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. I told him wow. the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max <laughs> Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> 
Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. <laughs> Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a Prescott. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Mm. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. But you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Oh. Hostile game already. Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes, except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. I guess her mom and him did get married. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Sad. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? Not much, you know me. I like to observe the world more than participate. I can't say I know you anymore. Maybe you love to go clubbing every night. Can you see me at a rave? I dose those candy flipping morons and watch them twitch into a DJ dance death rattle. Take a photo of that. <laughs> I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. 
It won't play without any power. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Isn't this like 2015? She didn't have an iPod? Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. Yeah. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? <laughs> like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. No, Max, this isn't a tool shed. Like I said, check the garage. Goodbye. Someone locked it from the other side. I haven't seen this place in five years. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Shit! Butterfingers!
Cool, now it's open. Always make them fall. Come on, you. Is there something I can pull out or something? No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? That's not the problem with having cameras. Having it in closets is weird. But bedrooms, I mean, bedrooms is not good, but like garage and like the main areas of the house? I don't see anything wrong with that. Back out of this. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of campers. Might come in handy later. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Like, she can't reach under there and get it? Oh. She literally, like, too good to bend down and stick it up off the floor. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. No, that's true. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> yep. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell I me the did. truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question, did you tell anybody? 
Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, thrash I'm fucking this. insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, Soldier. open this door. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. Shit. Ah, well. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Uh -oh. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think- Come on, let's escape out the window. It's cool, I do it every night. That's cool.
awesome sauce totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slowpoke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Was it a nightmare or was it a vision? Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My name is Max. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing he didn't Ugh. look. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. Mm. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do She's then? Clearly speaking. I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Why is this happening 
Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. is this snowflakes it's like 80 degrees how what climate the... change why the storm change? is coming max start from the beginning tell me everything He's got a black eye.
Yeah, reported Nathan. Yeah, I mean, really? 74% per uh, of people did not make fun of Victoria. I took the blame for Chloe. Stayed hidden. Well, I couldn't find a place to hide, so. Didn't let Dano draw my portrait. I didn't even know that was an option. Didn't sign her petition. I did help Alyssa. Didn't rate Slate. Didn't water your plant. Didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. Rewarding those victorious photos. Wow. The minority. Didn't write on the RV. Let the bird die. Where are all these choices I missed? Didn't break her snow globe. Why the hell would I? You left evidence searching. Huh? Oh. Oh, so I could have found the password to the computer? Oh. Okay, yeah. That's that one. But left all right, Whatever. Next. Oh. Oh, okay, it's a her. Episode two, out of time. 